Hi, Paul Hefty here with a triangle football system. I want to go over a pass draw option. It's a gap series of PDOs. What we'll go through first is how it works, and then we'll explain these three ways to attack the read keys from Joe Moorhead, where we flat them or swing them here in this case. We can bluff them then and then block them. Teaching point, we're going to use inside gap RPO blast blocking scheme for our PDOs. The O-line will pass set, and then they're going to attack upfield with blast blocking rules. Then for coaching points, we're going to use our compass communications that I'll show, where we use signals to communicate the routes and the variants to the skills people, but the quarterback will verbally just give that blast run blocking scheme call. Last point, these are mic isolations. Let's take a look. All right, first off, let's go over how this is going to work. Again, this is part of our compass calls. We'll use the face as a compass for a signaling. So again, for pass draw option series, signals are going to be at the middle of the face, at the center of the face. The verbal cue that the quarterback will give as a prefix to the play call is going to be central then, regardless of the signal. What that tells the offensive line is they're going to use their pass draw option timing where they'll pass set first. And then in this case, we'll use bulls and blazers or blast blocking, where if they're combination blocking, then they can climb after the pass set to the next level. We're going to go ahead and isolate the mic here with the three different ways. First, we're going to go ahead and flat them. That's our swing route. So again, this is a signal thumb up for that. If we want to go ahead and bluff him, uh, what, that we're going to fake block him and then run a route behind him, then we just go ahead and peace sign to the center of the face over the nose. And then the last one, if we're going to block him, then we'll use our Bama, which is our fist sideways on the center of the nose. All right, the first one, we're going to use a swing screen, pass draw option. First way we want to isolate the mic backer is we want to flat him. So you can see here, <clears throat> We're going to run our speed out to the backside for pre-snap free access. To the call side, this is ace right central bull. So we're running blast pass draw option blocking scheme to the right. The A and the Z will block this as screen bongo block, and the B back is running the swing route. Real simple. We're isolating the mic, so the quarterback's going to go ahead and do his now set, reading the mic. If the mic sits, then we'll just throw the ball to the B-back on the swing screen to the right. If the mic chases the back, then after he plants, he can go ahead and take off upfield and replace right where the mic backer left. Again, as always, we have free access to the backside. If he's got that, he can take it pre-snap. You can see the offensive line is using a big to back rule, meaning if they are covered, they are base blocking. If they're uncovered, then you can see the center here against an even front will block back to that will backer. Next, we're just doing the same thing. Central bulls are swing screen out of three by one. Only person that changes here is the H back. The H back now, since he is to the call side, will also bongo block, but he'll use an arc release where he's never going to go past an unblocked defender to get to the next level. So as he arcs outside, he looks for that defensive end if he starts chasing. If he doesn't, then he can go ahead and go up to the first outside backer, which is a Sam here. If that person's blocked and we've got a safety and ox filling, then he can combo off to that. But again, first level, second level, then third level. Again, we've got free access with the X receiver, we'll take that to the backside. If not, we're going to go ahead and isolate that mic and read him. Again, if he sits, the back gets on the swing. If he chases, then we're going to go ahead and replace him with a quarterback draw. Again, in the Joe Moorhead way of attacking read key defenders, the second way we want to attack him is bluffing him. So here you can see with the mic backer, the B back is going to bluff a lead block on him and then go ahead and run a bender route over top. We'll combine 
our bubble routes on the outside. So we're still going to call this ace right central bulls. It's a verbal. So their O line is doing pass draw option blast blocking. But the receivers now, the signal is going to be the P sign on the nose, on the center of the face. And that tells them that we've got bubble routes. Again, our bubble rule, the receiver closest to the quarterback runs the bubble and the outside receivers are blocking. As always, if the quarterback has free access or we have leverage for one of the bubble routes, he can just go ahead and set and throw that. If not, now we'll go into the isolation versus the mic. The technique for the quarterback here is he's going to go ahead and get the snap, pause, keeping his shoulders and feet square to the line of scrimmage. He'll take two short steps forward as if he's running a lead draw and read the mic. If the mic comes and attacks, then he's going to throw the pass to the B-back over top. If the mic turns and runs with the back, then he'll go ahead and run the quarterback draw behind him. Again, great compliment. Second way to attack the read key defender being the mic with a bluff. Again, what's nice is we can run these PDOs from two by two or three by one. When we go three by one with our bluff bubble, we just use our bubble rules on the perimeter. Again, the receiver closest to the quarterback becomes a bubble receiver, which is the H back now, and the outside receivers block. When the X is solo by himself, he does just a now sit bubble screen. Again, if we have free access, meaning the dog is way off here, quarterback can just throw that now. Or if the H has leverage, we can go ahead and throw a bubble screen to the right. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and isolate the mic again by reading him, whether he's going to chase the back, which turns into a quarterback draw, or he attacks the quarterback and we throw the pass over top to the B-back. Trips right, central bulls. All right, now we're to the third way to uh, attack the read key defender being the mic in this case, and we're going to do it now where we actually block them. What's great about this is we start to chunk some of our core concepts again so that we're not doing new learning, but rather find a way to scaffold core concepts into different isolations against the defense. We're going to use our Bama uh, pass here, where we, again, we've got the Z and A running the double post and the X with a high mesh crosser. What happens here, again, it is central blazers. Now we're doing it to the left. So for the O-line, they're doing pass draw option timing, and we're running blast to the left um, with the mic being isolated. The signal in here now for the skills people is we simply put our fists sideways on our nose, tell them to be running their Bama blast action. With this situation, the B and the H are going to both lead block, but they're going to do it in a delayed fashion. So again, the B would just simply take two shuffle steps, pausing, and then go and attack in the mic. The H is going to come across, but then again, once he gets past the center, pause, and then go and block the Sam. Key in this now is the quarterback's technique. He wants to take a three-step drop, so it's showing pass all the way, reading the ox for the Bama pass all the way. After he gets to his third step in his drop, though, now he wants to climb the pocket, still looking to pass. If he has an open receiver with the double post or the high uh, mesh crosser, he takes it. If not, then he continues on his climb and just follows the B-back with the lead block on the mic. It's great because we're doing seven-man protection. We're being able to combine a core passing concept that's great against man or zone, but then again, simply block the mic now and turn this into a delay quarterback draw. Again, we can run this from two by two or three by one. Nothing changes except the H comes from the three receiver side. He's going to go just like the B-back, taking two shuffle steps inside, pausing, and then going and blocking the Sam by the H-back and the B-back leading up on the mic. Quarterback still takes his three-step drop, reading the ox, looking for the double post or the high mesh crosser. 
and then starts to climb the pocket. If it's not there, then he just turns this into quarterback lead draw um, PDO. Thanks.